Well, the vehicles are perfectly safe for using off ro or, uh, on the roads. Uh, the best bet is to treat it like the same way you would as a large dump truck or a transport truck. Uh, the blind spots, they do exist on the vehicle. They're not super severe. There is a rear view facing camera and the crew does work as a team to make sure that the vehicle is clear. Uh, for the most part, we're going to be traveling in the right-hand lane and um, we won't be traveling any faster than 80 kilometers an hour, but that's the best thing I can say. Mm -hmm. Basically every few months, we plan on running a lot of uh, courses, especially for the driver training, uh, just because they're a relatively new vehicle for us and we need to you know, get as many soldiers as we can qualified. Uh, typically when they're out, if it's a student driver, they'll be marked with um, uh, signage on the front and the rear, so they'll know that they'll be aware of it. What can you just say to somebody who might feel intimidated by seeing such a large military vehicle on the road? Um, not, you don't need to worry about it too much. There is quite a few times where we're going to be taking them off road. Uh, we just, or sorry, on the roads. Uh, we just returned from a uh, gun camp weekend up in near Owenstown in a base called Meaford. And it was basically an eight hour drive for us to get back. And we were driving through London and all sorts of different public roads and with basically without incident as well. There's units in Toronto that have these as well. And uh, so far they haven't had any issues. And when I did my training myself, uh, we did more than a couple of hours uh, in the local area. and. Again, just as long as everybody in the vehicle is working as a crew uh, and making sure that they're um, maintaining their situational awareness, everything's going to be fine.